Hello, my name's James Welch. And I'm Robert Welch. And this is your weekly reminder that we are not the same person. Look at that. This is how models drink coffee when they've had their lipstick done. Yeah, they do. So some of you guessed it because we teased it literally for a day. <laughs> We're like, here's a teaser. Here's, here's the, the merch. <laughs> <laughs> we have merch. Now, I know it's early days, but a lot early of people days. were calling for this. Yeah, and a lot of you know us from our own individual channels as well, so... Um, and we're trying to start a cult. <laughs> so we want you to wear our symbols. Yeah, also leave your family. Also leave the family. <laughs> So this is our merch. As you can see, it's our Welsh twin rune, rune. on the side. And this is like a foil moon. It's Crystal really, moon. let me kind of get it in the light. Do I, I was really worried that this was going to be like really stiff and hard to wear. I thought it was going to be crunchy, but yeah. it's really soft, really, really Look nice. Look at Ben's, really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you could do this. <laughs> so James, you're, you're fashioning the t-shirt. Mercantile James. So the t-shirt is a t-shirt from, as you know it, as you know t-shirts to be, featuring the symbol of a... Right, you can't sell shit. <laughs> but I would say the sizes are true to size. I would. I'm good. also wearing an extra large hoodie. I put tucked the strings in because I didn't want it to hang in over um, the symbol. Mm. It has a it has a pocket right here. It's very very fluffy coming up to those colder months. It'd be nice to put your hands in, James. People people wear hoodies in colder months. You don't have to advertise it as a colder month item. We just invented <laughs> hoodies. <laughs> So these are going to be available from today, now, right now, this second. Mm. So we'll leave the link below for everything and even more information about the products and sales below. We have just started off with these two for now, but let us know what kind of things you are into and we'll just see how things go. Yeah, we don't even know if people want these. So. Yeah. <laughs> so it is obviously still exactly the same day as it was a minute ago. Nothing's different. It's mm. not two days later or five hours before our video goes live. None, on of, that, none of that's happened. Get it. It's not been a good weekend. Forget it. Um, so here's what we decided to do um, recently. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I've done this over on my channel and I, I think it's a really nice idea. I saw Smoke. It's a nice idea. It's really nice. <laughs> um, I saw Smokey Glow would do it and it's quite a nice way to kind of connect with you all. Ooh. See what's going on in your mind. Make connections. Make connections, but also give opinions. So what we're going to do is we are kind of talking about and I guess reacting to like this. That's um, probably the thumbnail, isn't it? That's yeah. pretending to be shocked, yeah. <laughs> to your unpopular makeup, beauty, and I said anything in general. <laughs> Influencer, skincare. Yeah. Um, just opinions in unpopular general. Unpopular opinions. So I have a few of them. Well, they're in a list. And we're just going to go for... We're just going to have a chat because, you know, it's it's Sunday. <laughs> it's probably everyone's day off. Everyone's day off. It may be the Sabbath for some of you. Exactly. So, so. let's do this. Mm. Also, just before we do get into this, no one's opinion is wrong. Oh, no. We're not saying that, you know, our opinion is right. <laughs> That's why their opinions are not facts, yeah. Right? yeah. Well... No. <laughs> so I have one for you and then one for me okay. straight away. St. Ives scrub, we'll pop that here, is fine once a week. <laughs> <Go. Wait. laughs> it was so good. Hmm. Listen, so St. Ives walnut apricot scrub, sorry, is... No, why am I looking around for it? I don't have it. <laughs> there is no real evidence that it's bad for you. The idea is that the different size um, apricot kernels in it are, that's the problem, they're different sizes. Some of them are sharp, they're not well-rounded, they're not polished. And what that can do is put microscopic tears in your skin right, right, and lead tears. to things like premature aging. It can lead to some nasty infections, supposedly. This was a lawsuit that was brought to St. Ives. I didn't know it was a lawsuit. It was a lawsuit and it was actually thrown out of court because there was not enough evidence to support mm. that St. Ives mm. apricot scrub is bad for you. Right. However, my personal opinion with physical exfoliants is that they are fine. They're, you're fine to use a physical scrub, but that's the problem is they're called scrubs, and I don't personally feel people should be scrubbing at their skin because... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Because there's that tendency to, when you're scrubbing, to apply pressure and yeah, keep that's rubbing at your say. skin. Yeah. You think, okay, it's a scrub, so I need to scrub, scrub. So you apply, like you said, even more pressure. Whereas really, you kind of just need to almost float. And that's why enzyme scrubs and like rice polishes are actually like much nicer if you're going to go for a physical experience. There is that kind of nice like instant gratification from a physical... But why do you get that instant gratification? Because you're red. Your face is stinging a little I'm bit. No, you're not you're... <laughs> 
<laughs> not you personally, but no, because it looks you... smooth and shiny, and you're like, oh my god, there's my but, face. But does it though? Does it just look red and bothered? But yes, it's fine <laughs> once a week on your feet. Next, I wear blush as eyeshadow. Is that a problem? Is That's that a not a thing? problem at all. I think a lot of people have this thing where it's like, um, for example, on blushes, it might be like, not for use around the eyes. But then also on eyeshadow, it's like, not, not for, for use around, around the eyes. Because <laughs> some colours have been known to be irritating to the eyes. Listen, use anything anywhere, just bear in mind the texture. If my skin looks fine, there's no need to invest in skincare. This is like a case of like, I don't do anything to my skin and my skin's fine. And that's absolutely fine. Like I think the people with people, the best skin do not do anything to their The people skin. with the best skin <laughs> use 10 in one body wash, shower yeah. gel, deodorant. Yes. It's like, what do you use? Just, just Dettol. Yeah. <laughs> A guy I used to work with, right, when I was um personal shopper had amazing skin. I was like, what do you do? And he was like, oh, I just like shampoo my hair, then bring it all down to my face. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck's sake. But that's the thing, if your skin looks absolutely fine, you don't have to do anything. There are certain things you might want to do if you're bothered, if you, you might not even care to prevent um, faster aging, if that's something that bothers you. So like adding a retinol or just making sure you wear sunscreen to not obviously get cancer as well is a yeah. huge deal. Yeah. But other than that, if if you if you don't have a routine and you're absolutely fine, just see, This is how I see a skincare. I always see it as a prevention of me getting older. Mm. <laughs> so like, I don't see it as like, oh, the only thing I worry about is blemishes and I'll put like a zit sticker on it. But um, other than that, I'm, I've, everything else I'm just like, oh, this is for the future me. Yeah, well that's the thing as well. Some people just don't care and yeah. that's absolutely fine. Like. Obviously you have to look after yourself as an individual, but as long mm. as you're healthy and you're happy with the state of your skin, and you don't have a routine or you don't care about getting fine lines and wrinkles, which to be honest, isn't a huge deal because yeah. we all get it. Yeah. There's no preventing it completely, then it, it doesn't matter. Mm. It's fine. James, get this. What? Influencers... <laughs> he speaks so eloquently. <laughs> <laughs> Influencers shouldn't be making more than what a doctor makes. I get why they do, but it's sad. This is a whole big topic. I agree, I agree. Oh, completely. Not that they shouldn't be making more, but that doctors, nurses, NHS workers here in the UK should make more, should make more yeah, than what yeah, yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, 100%. Mm. It's, um, when you put it into perspective, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. Mm. It's actually beyond, um, it's actually very annoying to think about, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so let's move on. <laughs> let's not deal with it. Let's not deal with it. <laughs> um, makeup is wildly overpriced. ColourPop is better than a lot of expensive brands, but much cheaper. Yeah, I think I think I think makeup, especially now, makeup has become a trend in like the past what period of time? Three years? <laughs> no more. Oh god, I'm so tired. <laughs> This is such a long thing. <laughs> I feel like, of course, everything goes up in price, but now there's all these products that come out that maybe you were not used before. Mm. For example, color correctors, contour creams, contour powders. When I started doing makeup, was like, oh, secrets of the makeup artist. Yeah. And now it's like you can go to any drugstore and buy a color correcting palette, you know? Yeah. So I think there is so much makeup out there that everything just becomes more and more expensive. Everyone's trying to always improve their formula, so that makes it more expensive. So a brand like Natasha Denona, which is really expensive, I got my first ever palette from, and I was like, <sighs> Oh really? Colourpop, love their formula, I think mm. it's better. I agree with you, as a person. You are correct in your you opinion. You are correct, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Celebrity skincare brands are in it for the money. They don't produce products that work. Anybody that's gonna launch anything is in it for money, right? Sure. It's like when people comment on YouTubers' videos, you're just doing this for views. It's like, well, of course, I didn't post that's a video for no one to get views. Yeah. But I agree. I think there's, there's there's a surge of celebrity skincare that nobody asked for at the moment. Mm, yeah. And I think a lot of them aren't really as invested as they pretend they are. I think Rihanna, for example, is a different case in my personal opinion because how invested she is in Fenty as a whole business. Yes, okay. When she talks about it, mm. it's completely different mm. to say um, Kylie Jenner when she talks about her skincare or line Kardashian. or Kim Kardashian. Mm. It, when you watch, oh, I, I hate talking about Kardashians and Jenners because I think people think I, I don't like them. I have no real opinion, to be honest with you. But when you look at them, they look like they've been sponsored by their own brand to yes. hit certain yeah, points. Whereas right. Rihanna talks about her experience mm. and um, what she what she wanted to do when creating this brand yeah. that goes deeper than mm. like, I wanted it to be cute and a film. See, nice, this is you know? when I did, I did, I did a reaction to Kylie Jenner um, mm. doing Kim's makeup, I think it was. 
was. And she was talking about her products and say this was her product. She was like, this is my whatever. I like it because it's really nice and it just feels great. Whereas if I invented this, I'd be like, it has this ingredient because it's so great to do this to your lips. Mm. Um, you'll love it and use it with this, this and this for whatever result. Yeah. It being nice isn't a sales pitch for me or yeah. sales point I'm gonna get this because it's nice okay clothes maybe it's nice yeah clothes are nice but makeup skincare why is it different to everything else that is mm. out there when it comes to things like this you need to take a look at the celebrities philosophy when it comes to that thing yeah. so like, like I said again Rihanna I love her take on skincare they mm. launched with a sunscreen which is one of the most important steps mm. in mm-hmm. skincare and she ever. had this whole makeup brand that was of course meant to be inclusive mm. of everyone and it, she's done that throughout her brand in general in so general that's yeah yeah mm. but what was the question what's the opinion uh, so every skincare brands that in it for money they don't produce products that work I agree but and disagree I, because there's some that do there's some that do some that don't mm-hmm. Paris Hilton Madonna <laughs> I'm sorry but a, a crazy expensive products that aren't even worth the money yeah. and you, you just don't see them ever talking about it really yeah. my fingers apply foundation better than any brush oh. yeah 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 because fingers fingers are the best tool for makeup apart from eye makeup don't blend your eyeshadow with fingers <laughs> unless it's cream <laughs> yeah better you have you have body temperature is is one kind of aspect to it so you're changing the um um Consistency. Consistency. Thank you. Off a product. Um, it blends better. You can feel, you can physically feel where you're going. 100% agree. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Get this, James. What? Pseudo cream instead of pimple patches. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't use nappy rash cream on your face, but also when I have a re awful yeah. spot, I will put pseudo cream Get on pseudo it. Cream on it's there. zinc, which helps massively <laughs> with breakouts, but then it's also, um, it can be quite irritating as well on like sensitive skin. So I believe yeah. it's got lavender oil in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I use pseudo cream. I, I feel very strongly about pimple patches. When I first used a pimple patch, the first one I ever used was a Cosrx mm. one. And I was I was like, shit, why is no one talking about I love, this? I love pimple patches. Yeah, why is it? Because mm. it was instantly gone. Then I used the Peace Out ones, yep. incredible. Yep. Then I used the Zit Sticker ones, another level. Yeah. And it, for, for me, those three, um, I have tried other ones which was shit. Mm. But those three have been incredible so I would yeah. sooner use them over pseudo cream but I don't knock pseudo cream we Listen, used to have if, uh, if um, I've picked my spot yeah I will put pseudo, pseudo cream, cream in it. it we used to have days when we were in school we would call them ugly days and it was usually Sunday oh, yeah. do you remember and we would wet our hair and um, wear S- hoods sweep it so back. it was flat yeah and then we would just sit with pseudo cream on our face all day yeah so our skin, skin. Yeah. yeah and we watched like cheap Christmas films and yeah. stuff yeah influencers get cancelled for the same shit we do ourselves Hmm. This is a really tough one because again, it depends on like the levels of what they've done. For example, there's a huge difference in my opinion from lying about your association with a brand mm-hmm. to being racist yeah. and um, abusive. Yeah, so a hundred percent. So like, it depends. Like, you can't cancelling someone becomes redundant when you don't have levels of cancellation, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it becomes a little bit redundant when you're giving everyone the same punishment for different variations mm, of mm. of it problems and issues. Yeah. I don't think cancelling works. It clearly doesn't, no. because there are people who have been cancelled that are still thriving online. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We actually did a whole podcast episode we about did, this with we? Angelica, mm. who... Um, it brought up some incredible points and she's uh, she has her own like drama channel um so she's seen it all seen all the receipts mm. you know throwing shares all the tea. tea so and she brings up some really incredible points so listen to that episode mm. even if it's just something we listen to because it kind of answers our, the, that question yeah because it's difficult because and you decide as well who you can't I don't know I cancels a, a weird word it's it's very different being a public figure I think when you are a public figure you have a responsibility to um, not be a dick online so publicly yeah and to have good morals because you are possibly an inspiration to so many different people right. Um you know, if you're Kevin from Couple Doors Down, Kevin. for example, who, who cares? Like, who Kevin cares what Kevin thinks? thinks? Like, he might be a dick, and his family might not like him. Yeah. But you know, I think it's it's a different level when you've got so many people watching you and mm. looking up to you. Exactly. Exactly. Influencers share. But I thought this was interesting. Influencers share too much of their lives on camera. People with main channels and vlog ones. 
completely up to you though, isn't it? Like I per- I do think, I think, why are you showing that? Like when people show the outside of their house and then do a house tour. Here's my if I was a murderer, and- I'm coming to your house coming and I'm, house I can, I've mapped out my house you. and I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> if I was a burglar, I know where your makeup studio is. I know where yeah. your laptops are. Yeah. I'm gonna come and get mm. those. Here's the thing though. Okay, let's go. Right, let's talk about it. It's very, we get a lot of people asking for more personal, oh, in-depth things. Mm. Show us your knees. Show us your dog's knees. Show us your Show ankles. Show us your partner's ankles. <laughs> Let me see your mum. Yeah. All this, you know, all this stuff. And people go, really do want to see more because we do have this. I get it. Yeah. Connection. I get it. Yeah. That you might not have with celebrities or other people. We're a little bit more personal. We're in your house. We're on your phone. We're right. in your house behind you right now. <laughs> so I, I do like a vlog channel. I love vlog channels. I fucking love vlogs. Yeah. I, if someone could be like, I'm going to set up this camera and I'm going to decorate my Christmas tree. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> For hours. It's quite nice. Because yeah. you can choose what you There's share. nothing wrong with vlog channels. My concern is that that often leads to people burning out and thinking, like these mm, daily vlog mm. family channels. I'm like, how on earth are hate, you hate family doing... Oh, don't put your kids stop. online. Let them, stop putting let them online. have a chance. Let them have privacy because it's very hard to come by nowadays. You don't know what the future holds. You don't know what the future holds. Um... It's, it's just, I just feel like it's tough. And then you see all these like family vlog channels that who or daily vloggers being like, I'm burnt out, I need a rest. And then they're mm. gone for like three months. Mm. It's like, if you even just did free videos a week of your week, you know? Yeah. But it's up, to, it's up to people, isn't it? How much they share. Yeah. Get this, James. Okay. Being an influencer and constantly on social media sounds exhausting. Now, I don't mm. want to be one of those people <laughs> that's like, being an influencer is really so hard. hard. Yeah, but it is actually really fucking exhausting. You know why it's exhausting? Because, again, we we did another episode on our podcast. <laughs> this isn't just this an isn't, for our we, podcast. Yeah, about, but we do have one. Yeah, where we spoke a lot about being influencers. We really went in and we answered everything honestly. We spoke about money. We spoke about sponsorships. We spoke about this, you know, it being exhausting. And um, even even things about that doctor question we had, like how, you know, the pay and everything like that. Mm. It, it's exhausting to a point where you don't stop. Con- you can't, the last stop. thing you do before you mm. go to bed is is look through messages or go on Twitter. And especially when we're on the other side of the world to most of our um, s- subscribers, we want to interact with them. For example, our video will go up today at 7.30. Yeah. And then all night until we go to bed, we will be replying to replying comments, to comments. looking at comments. Re- yeah. in- re-story. Restory, reposting things, <laughs> reposting things, and you know to kind of you know be with everyone, and it's you don't really want to miss out on that um, on that moment. Yeah. But then tomorrow morning, as soon as I wake up, I'll check my, I don't know, Instagram messages, and it, it goes on all day. So is it exhausting? No. No. Is it t- physically tiring? No. Am I tired? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think that's. <laughs> is it physically hard work? Not really. Mm. Is it mentally? exhausting and non-stop yeah. yes would we have it any other way no no absolutely, absolutely. not mm. this is another thing is we know we've worked retail jobs we've worked mm. nine to five we work shift work we know what a real exhausting yes. physically demanding job is absolutely. and that's not what we're doing absolutely. right now and we're very aware of that very grateful for it mm. um but i feel like we what a lot of YouTubers and influencers and bloggers are is just freelancers. And I think yeah. a lot of anybody who's self-employed or freelance will understand the same kind of, if you're not working, you're not getting paid, you're not making right. money. So exactly. that's like, yeah. and that could be anything. And it, that, that could be something as small as resharing a video you posted last week, or, you know, you need to keep on, on top of things. And it is true. You can post, not post a video like today, for example, on my main channel, I'm not posting a video. Am I a little bit like, oh shit, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so there's, there's that, but yeah. But we okay. also understand yeah. that this is probably, this is the best job we've ever had. Yeah. We work for ourselves and exactly. we're in a very fortunate position. Exactly. Position. Get I, Get I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I only have a three step skincare routine. That's very basic in the best way. And more than I have. <laughs> no, so I, I, this is what yeah. you have to consider is like, obviously all skin is different. Yeah. I always compare it to exercise. You can do the most basic exercise and be healthy mm. and happy. Mm. And that's highly recommended by doctors. Who? What's the health version of a doctor? Trainers. Pediatricians. Pe- trainers. No. Trainers, you know, like do your basics. Or you could go to the gym and you could build muscle. You could do weights. You could you do classes. Extra. You could go extra, yeah. extra. Oh, this is such a good point. And, about and sometimes it doesn't work for you. Mm, sometimes mm. it doesn't. And I feel that's what skincare is. But really, like your skin is clever. It can do its own thing. So as long as you're cleansing, using a moisturizer and a sunscreen, 
See, do this what you is do. that's. <laughs> I'm so. I I know how important skincare is, and especially to, yeah. But with you piss me off with your skincare. <laughs> Sometimes I can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered. Robert, Robert has always, been cleansing. I will always cleanse my face. That's it. Always. And you, you say that like it's that's oh great. And then oh, put, and then I'll put on a moisturizer. But then but then I'm like and then and then like maybe once a week I'll be like right tonight's the night <laughs> and I'll I'll like um, do a face mask and I'll exfoliate and do a face mask. Yeah, and then that's and then. Room. Um, no, and then I'll do like maybe not a face mask actually, but then I'll do like a serum, and then I'll put on some um, retinol, you know, and then like okay, from now on, this is it. From now on, and the next day I like get into bed, and I'm like, <laughs> face, there's actually a face swipe up there that you used the last time you were here <laughs> to remove some of your makeup. Yeah, but that's because we had glitter all over yeah, our face. Yeah, we just had glitter on our face. Um, yeah, and no, it's fine. Absolutely, this is I, the thing: is there's definitely no one size fits all. Yeah, thing. you know, and I just see skincare as. A, a nice hobby thing to do. The scar- Sorry, I thought you were going to do get this. <laughs> get this. <step. laughs> Mascara is so annoying to put on and remove. Just use a lash curler. Can I just say my opinion on that as a non makeup artist who tried to apply mascara the other day for a video that we had to, had to G- delete? Gu Huan. Okay, it looks shit all the time. Like, why do you want like thick, clumpy eyelashes? No. Or just generally thicker, longer lashes. I find it such a weird thing. That's when you're doing it wrong. <clears throat> <laughs> Mascaras are as personal as, um, I don't know, brow shape, for example. You have to get one that is good for your lashes, your kind of lashes. I have shit lashes. You have shit lashes. Why are you shouting Actually, at me? Your lashes are some of the worst <laughs> I've ever seen. They actually are. James's they lashes show... point down. What's that elephant? What's that elephant? The elephant from Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. So they point downwards, and mine used to, but I started sleeping on this side only, and now they're pointing up. That's really clever. So, for example, if I was to use the same mascara on you that I use on me, it it would be shit. It would be shit. Mm. Because you want something that pushes and curls and lifts, if that makes sense. I mean, I don't. But then also, do you want them to be separate? Do you want them to be thicker? You need to think about your brush and the brush you're using on a mascara watch YouTube videos because this is where it looks shit. If you just cut, if you do, uh, imagine a full face of makeup and then no, nothing on the lashes, just curly lashes. Imagine if you're blonde and you have no, your lashes are very fair and you've just done a really dark, smoky eye. I don't get what you're getting at. What's wrong with that? Oh, then, <laughs> <laughs> then what do you mean? So imagine, uh, so, uh, blonde <clears throat> against black. Right. So you're going to have this really deep black smoke. Actually, that could look really nice. I can say it's going to look really nice. If you don't like a mascara, if you, or it looks shit, then you're using the wrong one. The wrong one for you. Can, you. you cannot like mascara, but I would never dream of doing someone's makeup without mascara. Without mascara. <laughs> the beauty community isn't toxic. It's just the famous drama-centered people. Can I just say something? I was speaking, don't interrupt me. I was speaking <laughs> to someone about this the other day, right? And Boom. It's, um, so it's a, um, someone on Instagram, and we were talking about the um, influencer world and, and the professional makeup artist world and all these different worlds within a whole beauty world. Wherever you go, it is bitchy, at least. Oh yeah. Working on counter, bitchy. Working on the set, bitchy. Turning up at Fashion Week, bitchy. Mm-hmm. Do, do you remember the, the atmosphere of walking onto a set? Can I just say, Go yes, on. Yes, this can. is why, <laughs> this is like when people are always like, oh, you know, oh, why do you hate, hate comments don't bother you? Or, you know, people don't intimidate me because when you've worked in the beauty or fashion industry at professional level mm-hmm. with some of the biggest names, not, you're not like showing off, but yeah. you can't afford to take no. anything personally. Yeah, because you, you just cry. can't, because you would cry. <laughs> you would cry always. You would cry and crumble to Your the skin floor. gets this thick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. You, you can't, everywhere you go, there's always a, a main bitch and then all their yeah. little bitches mm-hmm. and then you have to pr- d- answer, like, to that answer bitch. back yeah, to yeah, that yeah. bitch and be another mm-hmm. one. It's, mm-hmm. it's constant mm. bitch. But then also you, you get this and I remember, um, for example, um, you get this like, air of, okay, I have to look like I'm a fucking arsehole now I have because to, yeah. everyone is going to be an arsehole. So I think, and I don't, I don't know what it is in beauty in general, and some people mm. may not have the same experience, but wherever, whatever set I've been on, whatever show we've done, whatever um, counter, you know, there's always been bitchiness mm-hmm. and some level of, if, if you want to call it toxic, you can call it toxic, but it's, I'm used to it. Mm. And as bad as it is, I don't want to be part of it, but can I defend myself against it? Sure. 
Do we, do we want it to happen? No, but it exists. Yeah, there's drama in... I Obviously, some of the most popular creators on the platform are within beauty in general, overall, right? Mm-hmm. There's drama in the cross-stitching community on Stop. YouTube, I found I out. Want, Voiceover want community, horror narrator community, mm. of cert- certain people saying mm. that these people aren't good actors. Mm. There's literally drama everywhere, but I feel like because the beauty community is full of some of the biggest, mm. most popular creators, creators on the platform, and you it, see that predominantly. Yeah, and, and maybe it's a little bit more without going too deep and psychological. I think about the people I would have worked with before. So they are like gay people, people of every race, every gender. Were these people, you know, do they feel they have to stick up for themselves or stand up for themselves? Mm. You know, you have to think about, you know, I don't know if that's a little bit deep, it gets into it, but I don't know. There's wherever you wherever you go in the beauty community, there is whatever part of it there is someone or mm. a group of people who are just bitches. bitches. Like life, I guess. We're used to it. Doesn't mean it's right though. No. Oh yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Jello. What? Get this one. <laughs> right. Old ladies shouldn't wear highlighter. Old ladies can do whatever the fuck they want. But they want. <laughs> I'm guessing they're coming from the um, direction of. Obviously, more mature um, people in general have a, a bit more texture to their skin, possibly. Those fine lines that we all get with age and wisdom. So are they just re- suggesting that highlighter shows up more on the skin? Possibly, yeah. And I think when we think of highlighter, we think of like, pow, pow, mm. you know? Down here, and up here for some Yeah, if you consider yourself older skin, and listen, just because you're a certain age doesn't mean you have mature skin. Listen, cream highlighter on mature skin is the best thing ever. When we think of mature skin mm. people are like oh as you get older you need to add gl- a glow back you need to add shine you need to cut your hair short cut your hair reason. really short for something yeah. especially when you're giving birth um <laughs> to add that shine <laughs> and that youth youth back to the skin but don't apply it just where everyone else does apply it where you want to do it you know add, add a bit of sh- highlight here tiny little patch it doesn't always have to be a line 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 mm. it can be a finger tap of of glow and and shine and when your skin catches that light everyone's gonna be like oh oh YouTubers who are selling new products that get into a fight on social media was all calculated. Say that again. So they're saying, they're suggesting, say, say, okay, so you and me are two separate people. We are. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And I'm going to release a a range of sandwiches. Here we go. Okay, this is my sandwich. Yeah. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, what can I do? Cheese and ham. Cheese and ham. Cheese and prawn. Um, Country garden Egg, cheese and prawn. Egg, cheese and prawn. (laughs) Country garden (laughs) prawn. Prawn. (laughs) I'm like, right, okay, I haven't, I can't be bothered to make a video about this, so. Right. No, no money Twitter. for publicity, yeah. marketing. Yeah, I go into Twitter and I'm mm. like, James, um, James has the worst sandwiches I think I've ever seen. Mm. And I'm like, why am I doing this drama? Or I do something like, I do something really awful, which we all seen people do for a bit of attention. They're saying I'm only doing that because I have you a want to sell it. Mm. Yes, I think that's true. Yes, I think that's true. Or people are just really fucking stupid. And like listen, more stupid than we if, think they if are. you if you are PR team for these people, so you never tell. once have we been told, right, James, do something extremely sexist or racist yeah. or homophobic because you have a video coming out yeah. tomorrow. Come on, if you're if you're if you're failing that much that you need to do that kind of. Can you feel? No, I don't think. We <laughs> oh no, I don't think we're allowed to do that. Are we? <laughs> Look at this! Wow, completely shiny. And can I just say something? Nope. Okay, let's end it there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so, link to our merch website down below. Hoodies, t-shirts. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Um, we are wearing. I think. I think we said this. I can't remember. We're wearing extra large because we, we like this baggy, yeah, baggy like, fit. Like baggy large. Usually, I would wear. Yeah, um, I'd wear a large. Um, but yeah. We hope you like them. And we just do want to mention, we know a lot of people are kind of in a position where maybe you don't want to spend money frivolously at the moment. <laughs> That's a word. Especially coming up to Christmas. Um, we just thank you for your support for our channel and for us in general. We thank you for your support in whatever way it comes. We really do. Yeah, so um, um, next week we have a really science video. God, it's going to be like being back in school. Yeah, you won't know this, but we are. PDHD. PDHDs. PDF. MDMDs. PDF. PDFDs. Yeah. Have a good week. Oh no, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Have a good, good week. week. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Oh, you can separate channels. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Perfect. Right. Go. I need to edit get this that now. Edited.